What colour is this? Vicky Meluish is one of 300,000 people in the UK who have Crohn's or colitis, the two most common types of inflammatory bowel disease. Her condition appeared to be under control, but one day she had an urgent message from her doctor about her medication. He told me to stop taking it because my white blood cells had dropped and then I was um, a high risk of um, infection. Vicky had something called bone marrow suppression, a side effect of her drugs. I didn't realise how ill I could have become, so it was frightening how one tiny extra bit more of this tablet can make me so poorly. Vicky was taking thiopurine. It's one of the most commonly used drugs for inflammatory bowel disease. But one in 14 patients who take it experience bone marrow suppression, a potentially deadly side effect where their body is unable to fight off infection. But researchers in Exeter have discovered that mutations of a gene known as NUDT15 may be responsible for that. It means they can identify who is at risk and give them alternative drugs. We would envisage that it would involve a blood test and then sequencing part of the uh, gene to try and identify these variants. The idea that we'd be able to turn around this test in one to two weeks and report the result back to clinicians so they can decide the most appropriate therapy for their patient. This research allows patients to have more personalised medicine with doctors looking at our genes to decide which drugs will be most effective for us. This is a perfect example whereby you're looking at a particular subset of patients who are more susceptible uh, to uh, a side effect of a particular drug and potentially uh, saving lives. The research was a joint project between the University of Exeter Medical School and the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital, made possible by the wide access to patients that the NHS provides. And it means that patients such as Vicky can be treated more safely while also saving the health service money. Jenny Walrand, BBC Spotlight, Exeter.